This seems to be the year that a lot of big names are calling it quits. 6ABC's Jim Gardner and WIP's Angelo Cataldi are retiring at year's end. Eagles O-lineman Brandon Brooks said he's done. He had some injury problems. Uh, that's sped up his retirement. The Steelers' Ben Roethlisberger was gone. Tom Brady left, but then he came back. Of course, Duke's Coach K, Mike Krzyzewski, has retired, as has Villanova's legendary coach, Jay Wright. Heck, even TV's Ellen DeGeneres is moving on after a 19-year run. Her final talk show airs this week. But the one that really hits home for me and probably for most of you watching or listening to this is Ray Didinger. And not just because he has graced us at Philly Press Box Radio with 19 visits to our little show over the past eight years. If you didn't know, a few weeks ago, Ray announced on the Saturday morning WIP show that he and Glenn Macnow have hosted for 21 years that he is calling it a career at the end of this month. He's not just leaving WIP. We won't see him on Eagles pre- or post-game live this fall anymore either. He's been there from the beginning in the late 90s when they started that. Heck, Ray has been covering the Philadelphia sports scene for 53 years since he graduated from Temple in the late 1960s. Among other things, he has worked at the Evening Bulletin, the Philadelphia Daily News, Channel 3, NFL Films, Comcast Sportsnet, which turned into NBC Sports Philadelphia, and of course, 94 WIP. He is a pro football Hall of Fame writer. He is in about a half dozen halls of fame. In fact, he's won four Emmy Awards, and this past February, the Maxwell Club awarded him the Reds Bagnell Award for his contributions to the game of football. Going back to that not-so-memorable Mike McCormick era in uh, Philadelphia Eagles history, 1973-75, to 75, I've enjoyed reading Ray Didinger in the paper, getting his take on all things Eagles and beyond, and then watching him on TV and hearing him on the radio. And it's going to be weird not seeing his head buried in his yellow legal pad when post-game live begins after those first few Eagles games this fall. Four years ago, some 10 days before the Eagles won their first Super Bowl, Philadelphia City Council honored Ray with a resolution for his work and for being something of a Philly icon. In fact, Councilman Curtis Jones Jr. at the time said, there's cheesesteaks, there's water ice, there's soft pretzels, but there's also Ray Didinger. So, you know, you can still enjoy those tasty treats, I guess, but no longer Ray Diddy. Here's the thing. Yes, he's won a slew of awards for his sports writing and his work at Interfilm Films. He is in all of those halls of fame, and he deserves to be, of course. But more than that, he is also a Hall of Fame person. So we say again, thank you, Ray, for everything, and enjoy your retirement.